So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is kind of another dreary, kind of overcast day here today, but that's all right. We're gonna have some fun today anyways. Uh, I have a couple friends coming over and we're gonna go muzzleloader hunting today and see if we can't get a deer or two. And when I say muzzleloader, I'm not talking about an inline muzzleloader. It is flintlock season here in uh, Pennsylvania, kind of like old school flintlock, and it's a lot of fun. Now, although they're pretty accurate, they are, it's not like shooting a 308 with a three to nine scope on it, I'll tell you that. So I'm not holding my breath, but regardless, if we get anything, it's a nice day for, you know, to take the old smoke pole for a walk in the woods. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. Then when I come back, we're gonna take a look at this right here. If you have a uh, Polaris Ranger or a tractor, uh, this may be something that you're interested in. I haven't tried it out yet, uh, but we'll go over this one to get back. So we're gonna go do a little bit of hunting and then we'll install this. I'll show you what it is and then probably cut a little bit of firewood. But yeah, I'll see you in a bit. That's my buddy Tim just shot. So we're getting ready. See me shake the camera? Kind of scared me. All right, we just got back from hunting, had a pretty good time. Uh, the good news is all three of us had missed deer. Uh, reason that is good news is there's not one guy that the other two can kind of pick on for missing a deer. All three of us did. But anyway, we had a good time. And uh, if you never saw a flintlock shoot, I did get a little bit of footage uh, of my buddies unloading their guns. I'll show you that right now. So that's pretty much the easiest way to unload a muzzleloader. Uh, you have to shoot them, and then you gotta clean them. Uh, but they are a lot of fun. We're gonna go back out on uh, probably New Year's Eve and New Year's Day and see how we do. But anyway, we're gonna get started. I'm gonna install this on the Ranger, and I'll uh, we'll go over it and see how it is. You have uh, probably seen one of these before. Saw hole. What it is, it's a mount for your chainsaw. Now I have seen these used on tractors before, and I spoke with Kenny, he's the owner of Saw Hall, and they have now just made a mount specifically for the Polaris Ranger. Because as you know, if you have a Ranger, there's not a whole lot of room in the bed for your chainsaw. And this is a mount that uh, will mount on the side of it, or we'll mount it somewhere on the bed and we'll see how it works. It's pretty simple. You got this bracket right here, this piece here, and like the scabbard for your saw. But we'll put it together and try it out. I think I may mount it like right here maybe. Something like this. So the saw kind of sits on an angle right here. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. All right, to mount this up, all you need is a couple bolts. They come with it. Kind of maybe something like this. Kind of hard getting your fat fingers in there, but I'll get it. Got 
that one started. Like I said, I'm gonna mine it on an angle, something like that. Maybe. Got them both started. All right, now to mount this on the Ranger, you will need to get yourself, I have some of these, these are anchors, you know, they fit right in the uh, lock and ride system on your Ranger. I have these two anchors, these do not come with it, but uh, if you have a Ranger, you probably have some of these or know where to get them. Then all you do, On there, snap that one down. That one down. Now, as you can see, the bed of the Ranger kind of wiggles around a little bit. I'm sure it's going to move some. And you just put the scabbard in. That's it. Yeah, so you know what? I was thinking, that isn't a bad spot for it. But you can see, if I stack firewood in here, this is gonna be in the way. I mean, not doesn't take up a lot of space, but I think I'll mount it on the side, and uh, we'll go cut some firewood. Yeah, I think that's a little bit better right there. Seems pretty solid. But like I said, the bed of the Ranger itself flexes a little bit. It's just plastic. But I think I'll throw the uh, 362 in here. And then what I'll do, I'll put a camera on it. And we'll take a ride out through the woods and we'll see how much it moves around. I'm sure it's going to move around a little bit. But we'll try it out and see. All right, this is an MS-362. It's a 20-inch bar. That's a pretty decent sized chainsaw. All right, as you can see, it is going to wiggle around a little bit, but I think it's supposed to do that, kind of give a little bit. Uh, but as long as it stays on there, I'll be happy. I think what I'll do, I'll mount a camera right on the Ranger, and we'll take it back in the woods kind of quick and bounce around a little bit and uh, see how it does. All right, I got a camera pointed at it. We'll head out in the woods and uh, we'll see how it does.
All right, we're out here on the uh, Loop Trail. This cherry tree right in front of me, it's actually a, a nice tree. I mean, it's still alive. Normally, I don't cut too many live trees here because we have so many blowdowns and storm damage trees and things like that. But it's right here, you know, in the radius of this trail here, right in the turn. And I need to get that tree out. So when I'm back here, like for the tractor and the wagon, uh, it's not in the way. And I'll leave the stump kind of high, and uh, that way I'll be able to push it out later on. I'm going to do my best to lay this tree down right down in there so it doesn't get hung up. But I have a lot of lean going that way. Not a whole lot, but there's some lean going that way. But if you look way up top, those branches, they're not real big, but there's some weight there. So it's going to help me out a little bit to go down this way. I hope.
Well, it's getting dark already, but that was a pretty good day. Got to do some muzzleloader hunting this morning, although we didn't get anything. Uh, got a load of firewood cut and tried out the saw haul for the first time. Now, like I said earlier, this is the Ranger mount. This comes with all types of hardware. You can mount it on like the loader frame of your tractor. Uh, Josh over at Stony Ridge Farm, I'll put a link to one of his videos up here. He did a video, I think, last week. Uh, he mounted one on his toolbox on his tractor. Seemed to work out all right for him. Uh, is this the greatest thing since sliced bread? I have no idea. I'm not going to say that. This is the first time I used it. And so far, I hauled my chainsaw from the house back here, maybe 15, 1,800 feet. But so far, so good. I don't see really what can go wrong with it. Uh, seems to work pretty good. But if you want to know more about them, go to uh, sawhaul.com. I'll put a link in the description. Talk to Kenny. He's the owner. Small business. You know, uh, he'll hook you up and answer any questions you may have. Uh, but I think that's about it. And like the way this works is, I've told you this before, when companies want to send stuff to try out, uh, I have like two rules. I don't like junk and I'm never going to use anything in a video that I don't use here on the property. You know, we're an outdoor channel. Uh, I have a Ranger. I definitely have a need for something like this. Uh, as you can see, I got a full load of firewood. Chainsaw is not in the way. It's doing what it's supposed to. Hopefully it'll hold up a very long time. I believe that it will. But I'm not going to tell you, you know, this is the fantastic greatest thing in the world. Uh, but who knows, you know, you'll see this thing on here. Uh, when it's muddy like this, I can't get the tractors out here without tearing everything up. I'll be using the Ranger. And we will find out soon enough just how well it holds up. But so far, so good. Seems like a pretty decent product. Uh, but anyway, if you got a Ranger or a tractor, you may want to check Kenny's website out. I think that's it. So uh, anyway, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.